Welcome to the Tale Slate. I'm Ben Stacy, and I'm here with Brad Maven and Katie Hello. Maven. And where are we? Uh, this weekend we're at the Strange and Astounding Show, Oshawa's third annual Strange and Astounding Show. So tell me more about the Strange and Astounding Show. How did it start? Uh, we started the Strange and Astounding Show two years ago, and we wanted to basically bring. Um, well, this is, well, this third is year, year three, so right? Two years yeah. ago. Yeah, but we started. We planned it three years ago. There you go. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever we started the Change in Astounding Show, the idea was to bring a really cool convention experience to Oshawa. We mm -hmm. wanted to have this idea of, you know, what you get when you go to the city, but bring it to small town Oshawa so that it was something that you can enjoy without having to go and spend mm -hmm. $35 to get through the door and see what cool stuff is inside. A lot of these shows, it feels like you're paying to go shopping. And we yeah. didn't want to have that experience here. So that's kind of how it started. And we knew we wanted it to be not just a vendor market, not just something you come into and spend money. We wanted it to be an experience. So something that was uh, involved and and you could do things. And uh, we wanted to bring in uh, aspects that another other place was doing, like mm -hmm. our, our zombie Santa and things like that, yep. uh, which has been a mainstay since year one. And uh, Because I guess people should know that this takes place in the end of November, so you're in between Christmas that's right. and Halloween. And so. we promote it that way. We promote it as kind of, you know, Halloween's over, but it's extending. And Halloween is never over. <laughs> and Christmas is right there, so it's a Halloween, uh, well, we call it a Christmas horror market, yeah, right? Yeah. And for a lot of us who are really into this stuff, it's uh, a way of kind of keeping that horror vibe going. Yeah. And so this year has been interesting. You've had some really cool guests here. Who, who have you had at this year's event? Uh, well, we brought in four celebrity guests this year, mm -hmm. which was a first for us. Um, Art Indle and Lynn Griffin. Um, they, they're from Black Christmas, which is uh, probably ca Canada's most recognized horror Christmas film, mm -hmm. uh, which are, believe it or not, there's not too many horror Christmas films, but <laughs> we have this great gem called Black Christmas, which uh, from day one when we were putting this together this year and we knew we were going to do a celebrity aspect, that was two people that I wanted. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm really happy to have them. Uh, Eugene Clark from Land of the Dead mm -hmm. and uh, another great guy who's put on an amazing show this weekend and, and the fans and, and the the vendors have all enjoyed his company, and uh, Mitch Markowitz, who's, yep. no one compares to Mitch Markowitz, I mean, he's just an off the wall, cool guy who's put on a great panel yesterday, and Phenomenal. looking forward to it again today. Um, so we, we, we our, our selection of celebrities was kind of that way on purpose. We wanted to have a mix of people that would recognize, you know, the, the classics with Black yep. Christmas, we had uh, kind of but a... Don't forget to mention that Mitch Markowitz is the associate producer of oh, Hilarious House of Frankenstein, of Frankenstein. Yeah. which was the other reason why like, Mitch was a, a big drawing card for us because it has such a cult following in Ontario to this day yeah. that you know people in this area were like, that's really cool. And you, you see yeah. the people coming out to see him. And yesterday we had the mayor here with him mm -hmm. cutting the cake for the 45th anniversary of Hilarious House of Frankenstein, which yep. was super cool. I mean, who else... Where else have you seen that, right? So we, we, again, it goes back to kind of putting on these things that we that are different. But uh, what was great about having those four celebrities is we had the classic, we had the the the, the, the cult following with mm -hmm. Larry's house, and then with having uh, Eugene in uh, with Land of the Dead being about ten years old, it brought in the relevancy to a lot of the fans that appreciate the modern stuff as well. Yep. So you're kind of touching on um, people that are, that are <laughs> into all the different uh, sub genres of horror. Mm. Cool. And we have the monsters of Schlock too, who are currently uh, <laughs> mocking us, yes. <laughs> <laughs> supporting, <laughs> supporting. Yeah. We're not supporting. No. Oh. <laughs> we'll have to get a shot of them to show them. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and so, where 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 is it going to go from here? Where's it going from here? I'm hoping there's another year. That, that decision will probably be made tonight. See how awesome. today goes. Yeah. T uh, this year's just been. Our best yet, for sure. We've definitely yeah. we've got we've got yeah. some new solid vendors this year. Uh, to mention Monsters of Schlock again, like their free show was hilarious yesterday. Yeah. I can't wait for today's. Like my cheeks actually hurt <laughs> afterwards because I was laughing and smiling so hard. Yeah, cool. It was very cool. Yeah, I think um, yeah. I mean, like Katie said, it's going to kind of rely on. You know, this is a self-funded event, first mm -hmm. of all. We don't have corporate sponsorship. We don't have people that are giving us money to do this. So mm -hmm. for Katie and I, it's putting out money to put this on. And we do it as a labor of love, too, because, you know, for us, we're part of the vendor mm -hmm. community. Like we yep. do a lot of these shows with the people that come to our show. And it was very important that we kind of put this on for them. So we're not here to make money at this. We're here to make our money back and not lose money. Yeah. 
but we want everyone else to make money and have fun and come out to something that's super and cool and that they love to promote and they love to, we look at it as almost like the year end show well, and, too and to be honest like the vendors are the reason why we did this year absolutely You're talking about some we work vendors says some really really cool stuff here we do yeah i mean we brought in vendors f- that we've, we've got some first year vendors yeah. like lee howard and quiet room bears he's got fantastic deformed bears like different <laughs> stuff Amazing stuff. And yeah. then we try to bring in something that catered to all different mm-hmm. tastes. Uh, whether you're a, a, like a rare collector, I mean, we've got the uh, Canadian cult horror collector community, which uh, they have so many different um, types of collectibles mm-hmm. and movies and uh, poster mortem that's there with him with all of his original uh, movie posters that people mm. just go crazy for. So you see the you see the different people coming through the door for their stuff, which mm-hmm. are not necessarily here for the the pop culture stuff, but we have that too with like grim details bringing mm-hmm. all their things that. Uh, cater more to uh, pop culture and, and look with Funko Pops and stuff like that. I've uh, got great one of a kind things like Slay at Mosaic, and um, oh, she makes yeah, amazing, amazing artwork with uh, glass yeah. and mm-hmm. I think resin or something. Yeah, like resin and broken glass. Midnight really Desires cool. and like their handmade necklaces and like the jewelry is yeah. just amazing. Where we find what we find with our show is is not a largely attended show. Like mm-hmm. you know, we get uh, we get our share of the market, no no doubt about it. We sit back and we constantly are saying, we wish more people were here, we wish more people were here. Yeah. And all the vendors are saying to us, but we're, we're, we're happy. Like people, are, the people that are coming through the door, they're spending money, they want yeah. to be here, and they're loving being here. You know, we're not a big market, but you still see the people today that were here yesterday. It's but interesting, would, you too, know, people that are also here almost all day long yeah. as well. They hang out all day <laughs> long. Uh, and, you know, this year we, we incorporated the, the Horror Cafe, and that was kind of for those people that hang out all day. Hey, you want to take a break, go downstairs, yeah. grab a bite, sit down and relax for a while. There's going to be, a, we do the panels in the cafe, mm-hmm. which was unique too. You know, a lot of these shows, it's all the same format. You go into a square room where everyone's set up, then you go to another square room where people are doing panels. Well, we break the mold here. You know, we try to yep. do things that are unique that people can really enjoy. And, you know, and I have heard people say that they look forward to the show because it's the most unique they go to all year. That means more to me than if we break even. Yeah. You know, like we want to break even. <laughs> but you know, it's it, it really means a lot. And you know, Katie said we did this for the vendors. I mean, yeah. beginning of this year. I mean, last yeah. year, last year was great. The content we put into last year was amazing. We didn't get the people out that we needed. Yeah. And and I mean, you know, full disclosure, we lost money last year, and it was hard. I mean, you know, our partner Chris didn't want to do it again. And I understand why. It was a big investment on our part, mm-hmm. and it wasn't worth the time for him. Oh, to build up until stuff like out. Yeah. six, seven months ago, we actually weren't going to do we this were gonna year. Do. So. We said at the beginning of the year, we're not doing the show this yeah. year. And it was after Shockstock and at Shockstock where um, we had a lot of our vendor community saying, but you have to do the show. If you don't do the show, we don't know what we're going to do. So, yeah. <sighs> offering to help put on yeah, the show. Everyone awesome. was yeah. offering to help, which, you know, the, the people that, that were there to help and then the volunteers. It's such it's, a community. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it really is. It's, like, I think that's what makes this one specifically, like, the vendors love because it it has become a community. This this is like our horror family yeah. that we see at all of our cons. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Anything else to add, or just enjoy the rest of the day? Yeah, here at, uh, I mean, uh, you know, show. if you're yeah. watching this, hopefully you're intrigued and come by if we do the show next year. And um, you know, sorry you missed out if you didn't come this year. Yeah. <laughs> well, there we have it. Next year's bigger and better. Bigger and better. Bigger if and we better do it next year. If we do it. <laughs> You'll do it. You'll do it. No It'll be here next year. Oh, for it. Yep, absolutely. The Strange and Sounding Show. Yeah, hey.